Good evening. What now? Who's so... I was hoping that beast would return within my lifetime. Sildra! Today we avenge them. Your family and my great-grandfather. Our long wait is finally over. Are you ready? Right! Head for the low seas! Help me in too, Koopa! Jib. That was nothing. Lawn and rain. I don't know how you did it. Now, tell me where that demon was spotted. In the waters of Babel. Not far from the Rainbow Shore, Koopo. Leviathan! Here I am! Show yourself! Come out and fight! If you have the courage! What's all this noise? Who might you be? Oh, so she killed your ancestors. Now, you seek revenge? Aye, she must pay for my great grandfather and Sildra's kin. Hmm. As you wish, I'll call her for you. <coughs> such a clamor like that. My ears work fine. Little Adamantus, can't you see? I'm trying to enjoy myself. I have missed these seas. Your reason for disturbing me had best be good. We're the ones who are disturbing you, Leviathan! Well now, what is this tiny creature? I'll show you, Tiny! You killed my great-grandfather Tycoon. He died with all of Sildra's clan. But on this day, we will have our vengeance! And I'm here to help, Koopo! Tycoon and... Sildra, did you say? Oh! Astonishing. So their bloodline survived. Hm? But... Hold. You say you seek vengeance upon me. That's right! Don't you dare feign ignorance! My great-grandfather was brave. When you attacked Sildra's family, he fought to save them, and died. But we swore that one day, we would have our vengeance. For generations we've waited! It's my good fortune that you appeared in my lifetime. Because now, I can be the one to settle the score! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Foolish girl. Am I to believe a whelp like you has any chance of defeating me? Not a chance. Not in a thousand years. <laughs> what now? Where am I? What is this? It's a fantasy. Where dreams and reality and time all touch. But don't ask me to explain what that means exactly. I guess you might say, when somebody fights our friends, we tag in. You get it? But how can... Oh... You two. How many long years have passed? Can't tell you that, but... 
Did we really used to know each other? Forget all that. Ferris thinks you killed her great-grandpa and Sildra's family. Is that really true? Well, honestly, I'm not altogether certain myself. As I recall, when Tycoon's crew was attacked by Bismarck's forces, on a whim, I may have helped them to defend themselves. Once I left, any number of villains could have done them in. But that's no concern of mine. Then you mean, Ferris and Sildra are mistaken? So why not just tell them as much? If their hatred for me has been festering all this time, then I cannot calm the waves by telling them it was all a big misunderstanding. As such, the wisest course of action is to accept their challenge, to let them break themselves against me. The way you're making it sound, you know they're fighting over nothing, but you still won't let them win? Really? Why would I let them win? I am not beholden to them. They chose this. Then I've got bad news. To fight them, you have to go through us. Well, that can be easily arranged. We won. Really? Oh, yes. Victory is yours. We did it, Koopa! <coughs> Oi, Adamantus. Can I ask you something? Hmm? A century ago, they tell of a sea demon. But was it really Leviathan? Tell me, why do you ask? Oh. Well, I might be imagining it. But she didn't seem like such an evil character. <laughs> Don't be silly. She was, without a doubt, the worst of the Dyad servant. But no more. You have succeeded at avenging your kin. Oh, good then. Captain! We did it, Koopa! Aye, and you were a big help. All right. Gents, let's go home. <laughs> to think you were once feared as one of the great terrors of the seas. When did you become such a big softy? Quiet, you. There will be trouble if they learn I still live. Now hush, until they're gone. <laughs>
This should be the place I heard about. Traveler, test your strength. So there you are. The Butcher. You've heard a lot of people. They call me a Butcher? Rubbish. I merely challenge fools who would be challenged and they die. Then you're not very sporting. Every one of your victims was cut down without a fight. He who lives by the sword must be quick to draw it. Truly, they met with no foul play. If they expired without a struggle, that attests to their dearth of skill and not my lack of honor. Hmm. It is a troubling thought to be gone less than a century and return to find swordsmanship so diminished. Troubling indeed. How poetic. If it's a challenge you're looking for, why don't you see how you and your principles fare against me? Ah, your spirit is impressive. Let us begin. Sorry, dude. There's been a change in the lineup. You really ought to know better than to butcher people. I remember you. To fight again after so long would be a thrill. But you catch me as my blood quickens for another. My first worthy foe in ages. This trickery. This space in which you have confined me. I'll not be detained. What is... Lon! Get out of the thing's way! Aw, oh, dude! Zan... Tets... Ken... <laughs> oh... Missed by a hair... <laughs> Good. You're the strongest warrior I've crossed swords with in years. And yet, twould be poor form to pursue this now. Find a new blade, and we shall continue this test of our might. <sighs> Looks like this won't be as easy as I thought. Does he have a weakness? You're taking on Odin? Yeah. I heard that you have experience with the Dyad Servants. Basically, anything you can tell me would be a big help. Odin... hmm... Oh, got it! It's just an old rumor, but... At last... You would try me with the same sword that failed you before? Yeah. Except... I thought I'd mix things up. Damn you! Hmm? That girl. She looks like Ramuz. It's his grandkid. Grandkid! Hmm. I see you've been sniffing about. Is... is this the best you can muster? Yep. Damn you! What's wrong? Suddenly you don't look so hot. Silence! Make your peace before I cleave you in twain! Here! Is Odin <gasps> afraid of a widow white? Hey, that reminds me. Wasn't Old Ramu the only one you never had a head to head with? Dude, 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 is that true? What I. I cover before no one! This is it! Forever stand as proof that your skill surpasses mine. 
I'm pleased to have met so fierce a warrior. Ours was a duel to remember. Huh. That's for sure. But it was a close one. At least, no more travelers will get shorn in two. Ramul, I owe you one. Samuel! Oh, and I guess I owe Lon and Rain a thank you as well, wherever they are. Now then. That's Alexander's voice. What could be wrong? Tell me, when and where were you born? Oh... So then you are from the same place as me. Whoa, wait, I know you! Come to think of it, even back then you used to tower over everyone else. You don't remember? You came and challenged me so you could be next in line for the throne. But of course, my mother's chains didn't stop me from winning. I toppled you even though you were hundreds of times bigger. What a state we left that part of the palace in. They were cleaning that mess up for quite a while. <laughs> well, don't sound so surprised. You know, this world you're in is a part of me. Oh, now I see. The summoner who brought you here so long ago was similar to Lon and Rain. Someone who had inherited some of my power. The bloodline of Grimoire's first summoner has been so busy. Those Farnas. There are so many like you in this world now. There's Eden of Balaam. Then there's the Loot of Ragnarok. The Midgardian Ormer. There's you, of course. And who else? Hmm? What do I want with you? Actually, I'm not here to see you. I'm here for the one hiding in you. You there! Show yourself! Distressing. I see you're making yourselves at home over there. Oh well. Champions will show up there in due time. Just like they have here in Grimoire. Lon! Rain! Ah! Ah! What the? Okay, it's all yours now. Wait, Olaf, what is? A... and a crow? But... how can... when did you... Wh what is that thing? I guess it must be the most powerful Cogna in Grimoire right now. You don't even know?! This world looks to the two of you as its saviors now. Go make us proud. But what are we doing?! Dude, we totally did not come prepared for this. Uh, and a crow? Don't just leave us here? Tell us, what is going on? Huh?
honk was that about? I was wondering about all the ruckus. What are you up to now? Aiko? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like it's our fault. We didn't cause any ruckus. Well, someone must have woken Alexander up, because I could hear him making all kinds of noise and... Huh? He's telling me to thank you. Some pest was bothering him. He said he was in pain until you showed up, or... something like that. Hmm... I don't know what that's about, but I guess I'd better thank you too. Rescuing Alexander like that was very brave. This is... Go, 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 go. 